Hey guys, I'm Mike from Visual Gaming, and this is level 7 of Opposing Force called Vicarious Reality. So you start off by uh, hopping onto this thing, and uh, making your way into this corner, and getting out your electric gun to save ammo, and killing that head crab right there, and that head crab right there, and getting this magnum ammo, and there's a head crab right there, but you don't have to kill it, just because you don't have to go there. But when you turn this corner, look out for the head crab, because uh, it comes out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, you proceed through this door, and uh, to the end of this long hallway where... Uh, the door it doesn't open. Uh, you press it, but it does not open. Uh, so what you have to do, you have to, as you see, it doesn't open. So you have to. It took me two tries to open that door, but uh, like finally these guys start spawning, and um, the little gremlins, I believe, plus one of the guys who shoots the uh, electric gun at you. So kill the gremlins and then kill that guy. Uh, if you have grenades or something, really helpful. And don't. That's like a grenade, and you'll see me. Like you'll you'll get that gun in a in a bit. I think it's this level, but uh, yeah, don't go near like it's like a grenade. But uh, yeah, once you kill that guy, um, you can uh, go forward. And uh, when when you kill these guys from now on, their gun, their shotgun. You know, remember how you got this first shotgun? It jumped at you and it, and, it, and, it, and you got it. But yeah, this time they jump at you and they do damage. So be very careful. Make sure you kill them. But uh, once you once you're in here, walk around a bit, and a thing will spawn. This thing. Um, Keep away from it. Just hide around the rocks. Kite it around. Um, it shoots electric, electric electricity stuff at you, so make sure you don't get hit by it. And uh, it does a fair amount of damage from melee, so just be careful. And uh, shotguns probably not your best bet for this gun. Um, machine gun or the uh, like the army machine gun that you got once. Uh, you, you might know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's probably the best gun to use, but once you kill it, you go into here. And actually, one thing you can do is, because I've played like the three levels after this, um, you can actually use your time machine gun and uh, left hold your left click on it, and uh, it'll just disappear. So, if you want to do that. But yeah, you go into here and you kill that zombie, uh, and you go to this control panel place in a second. You hit the right side, because the left side has all the... Uh, bad stuff, but snarks, you get snarks, that's good. Don't have to go here because there's two headcrabs that uh, will bug you. Uh, this is this is just useless stuff, but um, yeah, you go into here and you open this door and uh, there's health and you go to the end of the hallway because this door won't open. You go to the end of the hallway, shoot out the uh, top right side of the uh, elevator glass thing and you hop in. And once you're in, you're going to hop on to the uh, open thing and go on this ladder and go all the way up. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm like always check taking out my guns, there's just so many, it's like I forget what key is which gun and stuff, so you'll notice me do that a little bit more later on in like the later levels, but yeah, here I got, forgot what I had to do, but you have to jump onto this door, uh, and head to the left, uh, when you get there, and when you open this door, and it's a pretty cool view on the right side, didn't really look there, but uh, yeah, so you go through this door, and that way is a dead end, so you take this left and you uh, press this elevator. It's going to come up and you go on a nice uh, elevator ride down. So it comes and then uh, doors open, press this button, and you proceed downwards. Um, just take out a gun, get ready to fight, because I, I don't think there is anything uh, once you get out, but there is soon. But you get here, take, your, take this right, and. Um, health there if you need it. But yeah, you open this door and there's going to be two, gr three gremlins actually. Two, one right there, one on the right as you see, and there's one more uh, on the right, but uh, he's kind of, you can't see him right now, but you'll see, you'll see him come in a second. But um, again, if you lose health, it's right there, it's always good. Uh, and that's the third gremlin right there. Uh, didn't notice him, but yeah, there he is. You kill those three guys, and then you go up here, and um, there's armor here, and then, then you have to go out of this window, but uh, there is things on the ground there, so throw some snarks at them, or if you have a grenade, that's even better. But uh, yeah, there's one of those antlion things that like uh, shoots its snot at you, so, uh, and those and there's like four bulldog things that do thing. Uh, so yeah, throw down a couple snarks, uh, that might help, might not. Uh, took a bit, took a while here, but um, yeah, if, if you have to kill them, use your pistol, your Glock, because that is the... Uh, gun you're probably never going to use, so it's good, to s it's good to save or waste ammo on that, even though it's kind of a waste of machine gun ammo, but still, it's the pistol you're never going to use. But yeah, so this one kept getting away from me, so I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll just go down there, fight it in the face, and uh, kill it. So, you're going to head down and go right to the ground, and you kill it, and then 
don't go near these tentacles because I'm pretty sure they're still alive and they'll kill you. But see that thing on the ground looks like a snark? Yeah, that thing is actually one of the grenades I was telling you about earlier. Uh, you get these, and these actually recharge, so if you uh, if you wait around a while, they'll actually come back. So you can get them when you want. But uh, yeah, there's a health pool right there if you need it. But if you continue forward, you go here, and uh, you press this thing, and it goes down. Then you press up, and then once you're right at the top, you're going to... Um, not do any of that, but you're gonna go into here, and this is the gun I was talking about. That's the gun you get that was throwing grenades early, but you don't go in there because that just takes you back to where you were. Uh, you continue forward past the door and you fight that zombie, and then you break open this and uh, you take some more grenade things for the gun. Open up this door and um, go forward and uh, through this door, of course, saving off. I think there was a loading screen uh, just before when you open that door, but uh, yeah, so but this thing kind of helps you, it like tells you where to go, even though it disappears, but. I didn't really use it at all because it's kind of self-explanatory where you have to go. But yeah, there's a loading screen there, and then you can break these windows. You can go through the door. I broke this one, and then went through the door. Um, there's like three bulldogs or something here. Um, should kill them. Um, and there's a third one. There's nothing under the stairs. At least there wasn't when I checked. And then you go continue forward through this door, um, taking a left, and uh, this guy says something. Ah, yes, Walter. We were finally able to successfully detach one of the barnacle creatures from its point of gestation. As before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic materials. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab and is calling for an important experiment, so I don't have any time to further my analysis. Take specimen number 1176 and log anything else you can find. So once he's done talking, you're going to go in here, the door's going to open for you, and you're going to get this gun, which is basically um, a pull-you-forward gun. I don't know how else to say it, but... um. Uh, th that's just target practice if you need something, but yeah, you open this door and there is going to be a gremlin um, on the, you can, I don't know why I shot these, like I saw like a walkthrough before I watched it, the guy shot him, so I just thought whatever, I'll shoot him, but yeah, there's a gremlin over there, kill it, um, but I just shot each of these once, and then the grenades came out, I don't know. But um, yeah, so what you have to do is you have to get out your uh, gremlin, you're not your gremlin, up to your uh, you pull your full, pull yourself forward gun, and uh, it, it doesn't work on walls. It only works on like uh, these things, like other mutant alien things. So you can pull yourself up there. I uh, try not to fall, but uh, yeah. Once you're once you're here, you're going to go forward and go on this elevator, and it's going to go down. And then you're going to in, be in this room with a whole bunch of. Uh, there's going to be three head crabs, one, two, and then it's the third one right there. Um, and there's a whole bunch of those things on the roof. Um, one thing you could do is you could use your pull yourself forward gun on one of them because it'll work, and uh, you could you might die. I don't know. I did that once, got like to two health, and so I restarted it. But uh, you could just walk right through them. Go on this elevator. That's gonna go up to the door right here, where you'll fight two gremlins and a uh, electrocuting guy. So you open this door. He's gonna be. Uh, they can kill one. There's health there too. So trying not to do what I did because I kind of went. They don't use your shotgun against the the guy on the left side with the sh the shotgun, the, with the shock, not the shot, the shock gun. Because uh, first of all, I started lagging a bit, um, but also this gun is terrible to kill this guy. As you see, my health is going down quite a bit. Um, tried to hide, didn't work. Um, finally, ended up killing him. Um, if and there's a door behind me right now. Um, oh, and the thing's coming towards me as you see. Um, so I just kill it with your shotgun. Shock. I keep saying, it sounds like I'm saying shock, but I'm saying shock. Do I see that door right there, the one on the right side? You can go in there, there's health and the there's armor and stuff, but you have to fight like 18 gremlins and one of the two shot guys or something. So I decide not to because I don't really need that. So if you're not going in there, you can go in here and uh, open up these boxes. Uh, there is an armor here for you too, so that's always cool. Uh, you're going to go through this door once it opens, and then you're going to encounter some more tentacles, but these tentacles are a lot easier to uh, go about because they're in like an awkward position, so it's like you can almost never have to fight with them, so open up these boxes, more armor, I think there's health and uh, ammo in one of them or something, but yeah, so as you see, like you can go in the middle here, it's fine, um, don't really have to do anything in terms of like distracting them so you can get by, so really cool, um, but 
you, there's a, there's a soldier here that has uh, ammo and two grenades for your machine gun, so I took it. And then what you have to do is get your pull yourself forward gun, and uh, use it right there on the roof in that crack, and then go in the vent, and that'll be the end of the level. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends more videos to come. I am Mike from Visual Gaming. Thank you very much for watching this walkthrough, and go watch the next level um, if you need it, of course. But thank you very much again, and oh wait, no, I lied. Yeah, but the, all that crap I just said. But yeah, in here, um, go get the ammo and turn. Make sure you turn off the electricity thing because uh, this because the fan you have to get through it. But that's the end of the level. So thank you very much for watching Microvigil Gaming and goodbye. This turns off the fan, the electric electricity thing. All right, goodbye.